to the uh, last two deceased. The female that was found at the secondary scene location at 36 Yogaganda Street in Newtown has been positively identified as Nancy Lanza. Her birth date is September 6, 1960. Her cause of death is multiple gunshot wounds and the death has been ruled a homicide. The male subject identified as a shooter at Sandy Hook Elementary School has been positively identified as Adam Lanza. Uh, he resided at that residence. His cause of death was gunshot wound and his death has been ruled a suicide. There have been questions about the weaponry and I'd like to take a minute to uh, discuss with you briefly, uh, very superficially, some of the information that we, we can be released at this time. The weapon that was utilized most of the time during this horrific crime was identified as a Bushmaster AR-15 assault type weapon. It had high capacity magazines. And in addition to that, the subject had in his possession a Glock 10 millimeter, a six hour nine millimeter. Both weapons, all weapons have multiple magazines and additional ammunition. The fourth weapon recovered was a shotgun that was recovered from the suspect's vehicle uh, that was parked outside of the school. That weaponry is going, as I said, is going to be completely examined in the forensic laboratory. It's going to be historically searched so we can attempt to determine every path that those weapons took since they were manufactured, every time that they were used, and as much information as possible that we can obtain relative to each and every weapon. High capacity, multiple high capacity magazines. How many, how many rounds do you have? Approximately 30 rounds per magazine. Several, but just numerous. Yeah, I can hundreds of bullets. Hundreds of bullets, yes. yes. Are those 30 well, rounds per magazine just for the rifle, or are those also for the handgun? High capacity magazine for the rifle, all right, and multiple magazines for the rifle, and multiple magazines for both handguns. Lieutenant.